Turkish farmer is experimenting with a high-tech approach to get cows to produce more and better quality milk. Virtual Reality As temperatures dropped and fodder prices rose in Aksaray, Turkey, farmer Izet Kocak was forced to look for a new strategy to keep his cows happy and increase milk production. Sütün hem yem fiyatlarının artması hem de samanın artması nedeniyle alternatif yollar arayışına girdik ve Rusya'da denenmiş bir şey sanal bir gerçeklik gözlüğü takılmış hayvanlara ee, biz de buna istinaden dedik kendi işletmemizde bir deneyelim ee, sütün gerçekten kalitesini ve miktarını arttıracak mı diye. He fitted some of his cows with VR headsets programmed to immerse them in warm green fields. As a result, the cows were able to produce 7 gallons of milk per day, which is more than a 20% increase from previous yields. 100 tane sağlar ineğimiz var. Ee, sürü ortalaması 22 litre. Yalnız bu iki tane hayvanımızda da e, süt miktarını 27 litreye kadar çıkardık ve bunu da sanal gerçeklik gözlüğüyle yapabildik. Kendisini işte uçsuz, bucaksız çimlerdeymiş gibi hissi veriyor. E, duygusal anlamda iyi olmasını sağlıyor. Duygusal anlamda da iyi olunca da Kocak was inspired by a similar VR experiment at a dairy farm outside of Moscow, Russia. But does VR for animals really work? Or is this virtual reality just a virtual fantasy? First of all, current virtual reality goggles are designed with humans in mind. In order to adapt them for cows, engineers would need to consider many factors. Unlike humans who have binocular vision, cows have panoramic vision. They can see 300 degrees around them. Due to their weak eye muscles and horizontal pupils, cows cannot focus on objects quickly. They also have poor depth and distance perception and perceive colors differently than humans do. A cow-friendly VR headset would have to be specially adapted for a cow's head shape while this doesn't seem to be impossible, we aren't sure if animals even like virtual reality. Researchers have worked with chimps in VR, but found no evidence that the animals enjoyed the experience. Needless to say, there are many ethical questions to consider when putting animals in VR environments. Austin Stewart, a design professor at Iowa State University, has also suggested using VR to trick chickens into thinking they are free-range instead of contained in small cages. While this would save farmers money, it's far from the most humane option. Could VR for animals become an excuse to keep animals in increasingly inhumane settings, much like the humans in the Matrix who live out their lives in incubators? On the other hand, we do know for sure that giving cows fresh air and the freedom to move can decrease anxiety and increase happiness. It's obvious that more research is needed to see if VR for cows works long term. On Kocak's farm in Turkey, only two cows have tried the VR headset thus far. Daha sonra başarılı bulursak, e, hayvan sayısını çoğaltacağız bu sanal gerçeklik gözüyle beraber. Even if animals may not be able to enjoy VR, humans can definitely benefit from enjoying pleasing scenes in virtual worlds. Virtual reality has been used to promote calmness and reduce stress, and its benefits for our mental health go far beyond relaxation alone. Therapists are putting patients with PTSD into virtual reality simulations of their trauma as a form of exposure therapy. VR has also been shown to help treat anxiety disorders and other phobias. These treatments offer a way to immerse a patient in scenes that would be difficult or dangerous to replicate in real life, such as military combat or natural disasters. Some researchers even believe that VR could also be used to diagnose and help patients who suffer from schizophrenia, Alzheimer's, ADHD, and autism. Exploring the benefits of VR is more important than ever, especially as companies like Facebook and NVIDIA hope to make the metaverse a part of our daily lives. More research and time will tell whether cows will get their own metaverse.